We've all seen the social media posts boasting about visits from celebrities in Louisville like Ethan Hawke and Orlando Bloom. But where does Kentucky fit in the picture of movie making? Grace McKenna and photojournalist Jessica Farley take things behind the scenes to explain why now and why Kentucky. Two small towns in Kentucky are rolling out the red carpet. Newcastle and Campbellsburg. The kids from Mrs. Thompson's journalism class got to interview both Ethan Hawke and Steve Zahn. Even the biggest stars. There's Maya Hawke and Laura Linney. Start small. What is my role in the scene? Beth Hall, a Louisville agent and acting coach, grooms crops of burgeoning Kentucky actors. Okay. And year after year, she saw talent leaving the bluegrass. I want kids that I've trained to not have to move to work. That troubling trend, Hall says, is changing. More and more work is popping up for her actors in their own backyards. So the fact that we even have this industry here and that it's even an option is causing some little kiddo in school to start dreaming. It started with Hallmark and indie flicks, but like the frenzied excitement over Ethan Hawke's Wildcat filming showed, blockbusters are barreling in, bringing big name business. I think that's where we're gonna get Ethan Hawke's. So why Kentucky and why now? The state is one of several with a film tax credit for productions that shoot here. Since starting in 2009, Kentucky's has been through a series of restrictions and expansions. But in 2021, lawmakers retooled. Credits became refundable. There's a $75 million annual cap. And admin moved to the Economic Development Cabinet, which 502 Films' Susie Eastman says gives the program a permanent home. We are competitive with states all across the country. And what we have is one of the most lucrative tax incentives that also has guardrails on it. During its first revived year, 2022, the state approved about $50 million in incentives. That is an industry. That's not a hobby. Films can also qualify for more money if they hire Kentucky residents like Jeffrey Stortz. Basically, I'm the technical guy who takes care of all of the camera equipment. He spent a lot of his career moving where the money is, but there's been a welcome shift since revived incentives rolled out. Having them back has allowed me to continue doing that, not in a different market. I can do it from home. I can sleep in my own bed and drive to work with a coffee from full stop. To build a permanent industry, you need a trained workforce. And Matt Niehoff at Thoughtfly Studios says Kentucky's producers, editors, and crew are underrated. If they're shooting here, they can, you know, have their whole crew come from here. They can edit everything here and it can kind of all be in one place. Louisville is home to several studio spaces like Thoughtfly playing temporary host. Up till now, we've had resources, we've had movies, but it's more of a come in, do one movie and leave. I think you're going to see a lot of companies that kind of set up camp here. To make things permanent, creators need more space, and that's what's set to happen at the Louisville Gardens. The impact can't be Overstated. Last year, the city announced plans to redevelop the historic downtown venue into a massive soundstage for films and TV shows to settle down. So there will be people that will be able to call the Louisville Gardens area a permanent home, and it will also attract a lot of productions to the community. In a state built on bourbon and horse racing, Eastman says the burgeoning film industry is rewriting the script. People will see that it's not just the first Saturday in May that makes Louisville special. It is our culture and it is our values as a community that attract people here. For the state's aspiring stars, yeah. the future looks bright. You did good. You did good. Because to chase their dreams, I could see that it was coming and it's here. They might not have to go very far. And already this year, productions have applied for about $4 million in tax incentives from the KEI program, including at least two projects planning to film right here in Jefferson County.